Alright y'all, I'm gonna try and make a video here. <clears throat> uh, this is my first attempt at making a video, but uh, I've got some guns that I'd like to share. And I don't know how to load these things up on YouTube, but we'll find out. My first gun that, I, that I'd like to show you is my um, summer carry. Uh, here here in the south, I, I just wear a Carhartt short sleeve type t-shirt. And uh, during the winter, same thing except long sleeve. And a 45, which I prefer to carry, uh, it, it's hard to conceal it. And in this state, you can get in just as much trouble by someone seeing it under your shirt as you can if you're walking around with it in your hand it depends on the officer um, so during the summer I carry a smaller gun a smaller pistol at first I had the uh, Ruger LCP and that thing it's a nice gun but the sights at arm's length I don't see the sights that well so uh, I bumped into this gun my brother calls it a homo gun because of the colors but uh and I think the rifleman said only uh, trannies and pedophiles carry 380s but uh that's what I carry and I'd like to show it to you This has a titanium, they call it titanium rainbow finish. It, it's an unusual gun, uh, the appearance of it. And I just liked it. It's got a good weight to it. It's not real light like the LCP. And it has the Model 1911 type configuration. That's what I really like about it. I'll tell you another selling point on this gun. Uh, some of the guns that I have, uh, regardless of the finish, they wear uh, fairly quickly when you're carrying them in a leather holster. This gun here, with the titanium finish, it shows absolutely zero wear in the spots that you would typically find them uh, there's a little bit of wear on the sight there and there's a little bit of wear on the sight here just a pinpoint but as far as the slide and the other components there is no wear on this at all and uh, it's not typical of most guns that you carry and I've been carrying this one for over a year during the summertime and hot and sweaty and it hasn't seemed to affect it it does have wear on the top of the um, the frame here but other than that it's very little wear another thing that I like about this gun is in the safe position which is there you can still jack the slide back that's nice I like that feature of it what I don't like about this gun and guns of this type and it's just the personal thing but the barrel on a gun shouldn't look at the ceiling when you jack the slide back. That just doesn't look natural to me. Like I say, it's a personal thing. But uh, it just doesn't look natural at all. Other than that, it's a well-made gun. Uh, Sig Sauer, uh, most of the guns that I've looked at are nice. These are original grips, of course. Now, you can buy some fancy grips on um, eBay. I've seen them. But uh, <clears throat> I like the looks of these. 
and so I've left them intact. And that 380 is a powerful, powerful uh, little round. It's a short nine, but uh, I've actually shot a, a huge beaver with this, about 45 pounds, driving down the road, and the state asks you to dispatch them when you see them because of the damage that they do. But um, I stopped and put a few rounds in him. He didn't. He didn't go anywhere, and the damage that it did was uh, extensive. It's got the uh, night sights. I don't know if you can see that. And none of them are going to show up underneath these lights. But uh, at night, if this is laying on the table, or laying on a a, a a little stand by your bed, you can see it clear across the room in a dark room. It's really nice. Um, when I first got it, I shook it up. When I got it home, I thought you had to shake the damn things, but uh, evidently you don't. They just they stand out like a sore thumb. I've got a, uh, quite a few other uh, weapons that I would like to share with y'all as soon as I get comfortable with this. I'll be honest with you, I am not comfortable with it. But um, this is my uh, first video. It's the first gun that I'm showing you. We're getting into winter here, so I'll be showing you some winter carry. I have quite a few 45s. And I have rifles, and I have shotguns, and I have black powder, and uh many other guns so hopefully uh, I'll be able to share with y'all the way y'all have shared with me I don't know that I'll be taking apart any I, I I have a trimmer in my hands that makes it difficult but uh hope you enjoyed the video and uh I'll be showing you a lot more